Hello everyone and welcome back to Engineer Tomorrow's uh, Thermodynamics video series. This is video number 9 and today we'll be diving further into detail about the liquid vapor dome. Um, if you haven't watched video number 8, I recommend you do. So first I'm going to start out by giving an overview of uh, what we discussed last time, just to refresh your memory, and that's the TV, or T specific volume diagram. And then we will take a look at the pressure versus specific volume diagram. Which, as it turns out, is very similar, but there are some minor details that are different as well. So, um, so first let's, let's take a look at the T, uh, specific volume, temperature versus specific volume graph. Okay, and if you remember from last time, the shape of the dome that we were discussing last time looks something like this where here you had liquid here you had a mixture of liquid and vapor and then here we had vapor in this region over here okay and if you remember from last time this this line right here let me get another color was the saturated liquid line and this over here was the saturated vapor line over here, in this section, we had a compressed liquid, okay? Here we had the mixture, and here we had uh, superheated vapor, okay? So this should say compressed liquid, or subcooled, and then this should say superheated vapor. Okay, so one thing I want to point out about this plot that I didn't discuss last time is this, this location right here. Okay, so what happens if you're at a liquid at this temperature and you go, you get to this specific volume and you keep adding heat and you go over here. So this location right here is the point, it's called the critical point. Critical point. Okay, and it's a, it's defined as a location where liquid or Saturated liquid and saturated vapor can coexist. So essentially you can think of it as a, a transition point for liquid to you know, straight to vapor. Okay, and at this position you have what is called the, uh, the critical temperature, the critical pressure, and the critical uh, specific volume. Okay, and if you remember from last time, if we look at the constant pressure lines on this plot, okay, you have set this arch at the beginning, a straight line because the temperature and the pressure do not change as it's undergoing a phase change. And then you have a continued increase. And as you go upwards, okay, the, as you go upwards in this plot of the, uh, the pressure plot, you get an increase in pressure, okay? So pressure increases with an increase in the temperature of a specific volume plot. So now let's let's take a look at what the, uh, the pressure versus specific volume plot is going to look like. Okay, and as it turns out, it's very similar. You know, the shape of the dome is a little bit different, but for the sake of this demonstration, let's say it looks like that. Okay, and once again, at this location over here, sorry, on this. So over here you have compressed liquid. You have the mixture inside the stone. And then over here you have superheated vapor again. Okay, and this line that I had already begun to outline was the superheated, so I'll call it number one. Number one was super, oh, sorry saturated liquid line uh, over here we have the saturated vapor line okay and then up at the top once again we have the critical point so three, there's two, we have the 
critical point. So very, very similar to the temperature plot um, as we've seen before. So there is one significant difference in this uh, this diagram. So now I'm, let's let me get rid of some of these things just for the sake of making this easier to read on you. Here we have the dome, which I just showed. Okay, so what do you think the uh, constant temperature line is going to look like? So instead of going upwards, across, and then increasing in the upward direction, on the pressure versus specific volume, the temperature actually declines. You get the straight line under the dome, because as we said, the uh, temperature doesn't change throughout that phase change. And then you get an additional increase over here. Okay, and this is your uh, temperature is constant line. Okay, and as you increase the temperature, and you, you plot the pressure versus the specific volume, um, what happens is you increase uh, your location on this plot as well. Alright, so let me call this T1, and we'll say T2 is greater than T1. Okay, so they're very similar plots, but you have to remember that the, uh, the temperature is going in a downwards direction uh, instead of the upwards direction like it is on the temperature versus specific volume when you plot the pressure. Okay, um, so now I kind of wanted to see, uh, let me see, I, w I wanted to relate this to uh, scenario I guess you could experience in life. So let's say you have you're at sea level and you have this container of water that is open to the air. Okay and you add heat to it. At what temperature will this uh, evaporate? Okay, and as we said before, it's going to be at 100 degrees Celsius. So now let's say we take this to a big mountain. Okay, so you know, there's a mountain or, you know, many thousands of feet in the air. It's a huge mountain. And then we have our pot of water. Um, H2O, and we add heat. Okay, so we we know that this pressure is 101 kilopascals. And this pressure, just for simplicity, let's just say that this pressure is equal to I don't know, 99 kPa. This is just a uh, scenario we've created. Okay, so if we, so what, what do you think would happen if you add heat, the same amount of heat to the to the water? Do you think the sea level one will evaporate first or the one on the mountain will evaporate first, which is at lower pressure? Well, um, let, let's take a look at this uh, pressure versus specific volume plot. Okay, and we notice that um, Green. Okay, so if we say that this temperature right here is, you know, corresponding with the, um, the specific, or, all right, so this is at 100, 100 degrees Celsius, okay, this is 101 kPa, and that's the boiling point of uh, water at sea level, so if we reduce our, our pressure Okay, when we're evaporating, come down here and use a different color. Okay, what is the temperature you need to um, to reach in order to boil off your water? Okay, and if we look at this, if, as we go up in the plot, the temperature increases. We're going to know that if we go down the plot, okay, your temperature is going to decrease. So you could say that the temperature. I'll call this one 
minus 2. So t evap of 2 is less than t evap 1. Okay, and this is a very important concept because the temperature is related to the amount of heat you have to add. So um, based on this, what we've just discussed right here, it would take less heat, so Q2 is going to be less than Q1 in order to evaporate. Okay, and that, that's an important concept to understand as well. So pressure plays a significant role in your phase changes as well. So I hope that clears up some, in, some information about the uh, liquid vapor dome and I guess how to use it. So in the next video we'll be uh, starting to talk about the solid phase and how that plays a role in the pressure, specific volume, temperature relationship. And I'll, I'll show a diagram that kind of elaborates on this a little bit better. So thank you for watching the video and please Com or comment or like or share this video if you found it helpful. See you at the next video.